Greetings, bold, daring, impulsive Aries. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Right now I'm going to do the Aries forecast for March 2019. I'm going to do a tarot forecast and really quickly go through the transits. I'm trying to make these readings much shorter, so um, I'm thinking of maybe not even doing transits anymore. So definitely leave in the comments whether you have a preference for me to include transits or not. And um, this table is unstable right now. I don't know what's making it do that. And hopefully that's not going to be going too much during the whole reading. But um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And um, if you haven't watched the overview for Aries for all of 2019, watch that. I posted it earlier in the year. And um, so Aries, as you enter March, um, it looks like you are resolving a conflict uh, with a man. Um, uh, somebody who is possibly an authority figure, maybe a father or a boss or something like that. And... Um, the basis of it is, you know, love, happiness, abundance, joy. Um, you are crossed in March by dealing with a male authority figure and maybe even institutions or establishments. Um, what's leaving is a partnership that's not working out. What could come into being is um, a wise woman. What will come into being is uh, a rebirth around mid-March for Aries. Uh, fears or insecurities, um, you're uh, a test of faith for you in, in March. Um, others see you. It looks like there is some gossip around you in March. Uh, positive feelings, beginning a new journey towards the end of the month that you feel positive about. The outcome is the devil, so um, the devil is going to manifest in different ways for different people. For some areas, this may be a person in your life who's a bad influence. Um, for other areas, this is going to be your own character defects that are showing up at the end of the month. Um, and character defects can any, be anything like ang anger, uh, jealousy, um, you know, resentment, um, self-pity, those kinds of things. Um, so that's what's going on. That's the quick overview for Aries for March 19th and the tarot cards. And then I'll just quickly tell you some transits. Venus enters Aquarius um, March 1st. Um, this is a very uh, detached um, Venus. Um, if you want to know where that's traveling through your chart, call me through a transit for a transit reading. Um, we're going to have our first Mercury retrograde of the year in March, and that's a Mercury retrograde in Pisces. So depending on where Pisces is in your chart, which house that rules, that is where, where you'll probably see some Mercury retrograde issues. Mercury in Pisces, Mercury is not at home in Pisces. Mercury is naturally ruled by Virgo, and Pisces um, opposes Virgo. So communication can get cloudy during this time. Um, there can be confusion, um, sometimes, uh, yeah, so we can talk more about that in a personal transit reading. I don't want to get stuck there. Um, Uranus enters Taurus March 6th, um, wherever that is in your chart, and depending on if it hits any of your personal planets, there could be a shakeup, but this is only, uh, you know, if it hits your personal planets. Um, the new moon in Pisces is also March 6th. New moons, as you know, if you follow me, are a great time to set intentions. And um, the new moon of Pisces is a great time to set intentions around health, um, around uh, spirituality, um, around music. Pisces rules music. Pisces rules drums. Pisces rules the feet. Um, Pisces rules health and spirituality and medicine, medicine and mysticism and all of those things. Um, March 7th, the Jupiter's forming a semi-sextile with Pluto. Um, and this is um, anyone in Aries born in like uh, 20 degrees Aries to 24 degrees Aries 
this is going to be um, an, a very important influential person is going to come in for you at this time and depending on which house I could tell you where but you should um, call me for a transit reading because I'm going through these these quickly here um, to make these readings shorter this time March 20th the Sun enters Aries so it becomes Aries season happy birthday Aries um, March 21st is the full moon in Libra. This is a very romantic full moon. This is a very creative full moon. It's, um, this is a full moon for artists and for lovers. Um, and, uh, March 24th, um, Jupiter is, uh, doing a semi-square with the North Node, um, for, um, I am going to skip that. That's for a personal transit reading. I'm sorry, I'm changing the format this month. If you want me to keep, be more specific about the transits, put in the comments, um, Aries transits, and I will be more specific about your transits next month. But if no Aries asks me for transits, then I'm not going to do Aries transits. I'm just going to do Aries tarot next month. So let me know. Um, also, March 26th, Venus enters Pisces. I love when Venus is in Pisces. It's a very romantic, creative Venus. It's going to be there uh, for a while until April 20th. Um, and so, uh, and then March 28th, Mercury goes direct again. So the Mercury retrograde period is over. So um, definitely try, if you have any contracts to sign, any procedures or surgeries to get, anything like that, do it either before um, March 5th or you're going to want to wait until after, you know, March 28th, even until the 1st of April. I'd let it get get, it, get us all the way to April before. Um, let that Mercury lag go by. So, um, and, then, and then March uh, 31st, Mars enters Gemini, which, you know, we can get a little scattered with our goals once Mars is in Gemini, too. So, um... Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, um, please give me a like. If you didn't, give me a don't like. Again, I'm trying to do them in under 10 minutes now, so that's why I kind of rushed through the transits. Some people are telling me get rid of the transits. Some people are telling me they love the transits. I would love if you would give me a comment so I could get an idea of whether to keep them or not moving forward. Um, but you can always call me directly for your own personal monthly tarot reading and your own personal monthly transit reading. And that's really how you get the most out of the cards is when you start, when we start working together one-on-one. -on -one. So thank you Aries for joining me. I hope you have a great March and um, I will talk to you soon.